Alright guys, welcome to your 8th bootstrap tutorial. I'm Mehul and in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to add some content to the content area in bootstrap. Now, so far we have created a jumbotron and a navigation bar using just bootstrap. And now I have linked a style sheet as well to work with external styles because we're gonna need that real soon. So first of all, let's just contain a con create a container which will contain our data and let's just go ahead with h1 and let's just say by some facebook likes from us and that's kind of weird because in the jumbotron i guess i said we sell worst worst <laughs> most quality Facebook likes and that kind of makes much more sense now and now with this you can make use of small which is automatically styled by bootstrap and here you can write um, or basically this would go inside this h1 only um, you won't regret and if you look then you see that this is kinda left aligned but we can make use of our another class we can say just this is my own class and let's just pick this up in our style sheet uh, let's just say text align center simple enough next what we can do is we can make use of an image from facebook and the net doesn't seem to cooperate right now don't worry i'm a stubborn as well so we just need to get one image okay hmm I guess this one would do Yeah, the internet's lagging right now. Can't do it about that. Okay. Now we can just say this is an image, and I want this to be whoa. center and let's just take a look at it first if it works or not alright so this is says by some Facebook likes from us and what we can do is now we can create some awesome buttons with bootstrap and then we can say give us some space and let's just create some purchase buttons and if we look at the tutorial number six or five or four yeah so we have got all of these bunch of buttons right now and if you see then I guess we would have a primary button right here good for a payment so we can just say this to be a pay via PayPal fifty dollar for oh, 10k likes I hope I'm not charging much so you see that this button appears here, right here and we can center this one as well by either supplying this with I guess center class 
and uh, now I guess this would be a better alternative to create a text line center and a margin top of 30 pixels okay so we have got this button and I know this page looks like full crap but don't worry that's because we don't know most of the things in bootstrap and I don't think that I should start right away from like grids or like doing like div class call sm and all that mobile version but don't worry we'll be learning about grids real soon and uh, um, I guess that's a sad end to our worst web page online with bootstrap and this series as well so don't worry this mini series sorry not the series so don't worry from the next tutorial we'll be working on grids in bootstrap and then we'll be working on a web page when we'll finally learn something about bootstrap which is solid and can be used as a base or foundation for our web pages so that's all for this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching